you know, how, how you got awesome. here, awesome. why you came here. So if you just want to start by, you know, why did Lock Haven end up being the best fit for you personally? Um, well, a lot of reasons. I mean, a lot can happen in one year. And, uh, you know, I started down in West Virginia and I was in the same spot as I am this year, you know, training in the summer and trying to get acclimated with everything. And just, I didn't see that I was fitting in, uh, you know, with the coach and kind of the program and everything. So I was seeking other places and, um, and one of the places was Lock Haven. So with the coaching, the, the atmosphere, the community aspect of it, and the tradition here, it's all, those are all reasons why I ended up here. Did you feel like you needed a little bit of a smaller school, smaller town experience than you were getting? Yeah, at first, um, West Virginia, you know, I mean, it's a big school and everything, big D1 school, and I thought, you know, this is like, you know, the fame and glamour of it all. So I was like, yeah, like, let's do it. And then, uh, you know, coming to Lock Haven, it just, it made me, uh, figure out what my values really are and it's really more about the program and the people in it and the uh, community around it and you know big or small school really doesn't matter to me but Lock Haven has it all everything I need. Did you have to I don't know if humble yourself is the best way but yeah. to really dig deep and, and start to soul search maybe for the first time in your life in a way? Yeah I mean you know everything I've done I've always had a plan and the plan has always been perfectly executed. And when I went to West Virginia, you know, I thought that's where I was going to be for the next four years. And you know, I'm thinking like, yeah, there's no way I'm transferring. Like that's ridiculous sounding. And then you know, it ended up where I was just very unhappy with the place, and I had to kind of humble myself. Like, well, this isn't the place for me. I got to move on. You know, I got a, I got new beginnings. I get to start fresh at Lock Haven and. Um, develop a great career. When did you start to realize that it wasn't the place for you? Was that just, to, were you just never able to find your comfort zone? Um, well, I went down there in the summer, I think about end of June, and at first it was a little, uh, it wasn't like right off the bat, like I was trying to work things out and like just stay positive and optimistic about everything, but then as time went on I just slowly started realizing that um, my mindset was different than the teams in a lot of ways with what they're doing and what I'm doing and uh, I just wanted to be in a place where you know my teammates and I have the same goals and the same mindset with everything. And then how about the three of you guys all transferring kind of like one domino at a time was there any like communication between you guys you come from sort of the same place the same circle? Yeah um, there was a little bit of communication um, well, first it was Tommy and then me and then Chance was, you know, boom, 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 like right in a, about a month span. But it's really exciting. You know, I, I see that Tommy goes and then it kind of, you know, Lock Haven gets some hype up and that makes me more excited to, you know, commit to them. And then I go and then Chance sees two of us. You know, we wrestled together as an elementary and middle school teams and then, you know, Chance comes. So we, we did talk to a little uh, with each other. But um, I mean, just that domino effect of seeing guys going and committing, you're like, wow, you know, I want to be a part of that.